world. You've begun to look at a 3D world and the kinds of things that you might want to do in a 3D world are a little different than the kinds of things you would want to do in a two-dimensional world. For example, maybe you'd want to add in translucency so that as you move off of a window you can see the documents behind it. Maybe if you want to move that web page and move it off screen, you can do so. Maybe if you want to look and maybe attach a note to the back of a web page, you could just turn it around and say, <laughs> and maybe you would want to play a video. There's the translucency working. Here's the preview. And I think this is attached to audio. In a forbidden city. And again. A princess has been kidnapped and taken to America. Oh, you can keep it up. It's much better when the sound's up. But a warrior has been sent by You can see the video running in the icon down below. Bring her back. And maybe rather than just running a single one. Oh. Oh, I could run another video. Oh, oh, will you? And you'll recognize this video as the video we began all this with. This is the Java video. But we have a lot of slides up here, and it'd be a lot easier if I just put them all away. And again, having put them all away, I can add notes. Maybe this file is digitally protected. And just to be completely arbitrary, to show you what you can do if you are freed from the shackles of a old environment, you could just get arbitrarily clever <laughs> and start looking at what your environment would look like from all forms and all sides, including watching the video backwards <laughs> if you really want to do so. <laughs> so again, if you have a 3D environment, 